Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tractor64, and we have pulled Kerbal Space Program off the shelf, dusted it off, and popped it back in, and we're going to play it today. It's going to be fun. Uh, we've got here a Falcon 9 rocket, SpaceX. It's a mod. This uh, entire craft is pretty much entirely mods. Um, we're going to fly this today, and it's going to be fun. I'll include links to these mods in the description, so be sure to check those out, because they are fantastic. Um, even this launch pad, check out this launch pad, it's retracting right now, just like in real life, super cool. But anyway, we're going to fly this Falcon 9, we're going to take it up to an orbit of 85 kilometers, so that's really a safe orbit. Um, this could easily reach a, probably, eh, I don't know how, f I haven't taken it up past uh, 150, but uh, we're also not going to use payload today in our uh, payload bay here, and this is a f payload configuration, we're not going to use the Dragon spacecraft. That is because we're going to attempt to land the first stage, just like SpaceX successfully did in late December, which was absolutely amazing and historic. We're going to attempt to recreate what they did. Uh, let's see, I don't really know how it's going to go. I've tried it a few times. It's really a toss-up whether or not it's going to work. But the uh, magic of editing will take the crap out. Anyway, here's our target. I don't know if I'll be able to reach the target, but we'll do our best. And here we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let MechJeb take us up to our orbit once I engage autopilot here and we're good to go all right so our Falcon 9 has re achieved liftoff so we are now on our way to orbit um, on the way up I'm gonna talk a little bit real quick before I skip ahead to our stage step I'm gonna talk about the mods I'm using today so I have uh, um, the crafts are from a SpaceX launchers pack. You'll see it down there in the description. Wonderful. It's awesome. Highly recommend it. I'm also going to be using MechJeb. It's the newest version of MechJeb. You can see I've got our MechJebs there and down there. Um, and the key thing for, for today's uh, video that I'm really using is this mod over here. This is called um, Flight Manager for Reusable Stages. Uh, this mod is pretty cool. What it does is it basically will create a save um, when you separate your stages and it will essentially make a quick save I, I don't know I don't know how else to describe it, it it's kind of strange but it basically makes a quick save when you separate your stages and what it does is you continue on with your second stage like you know we're going to just go on to orbit. We're going to continue on. And once you're in orbit and you've completed your primary mission, you go back to your um, little mod here and you'll see it. It'll create a button. You press that button and then that'll take you back in time to the separation. And then it'll bring you over to control of your first stage. Then you can bring that back and land it, which we're going to try to do here today. And then once you land the first stage, you can uh, press a button, go back to main mission, and it'll essentially combine the two saves into one. So it's as if that happened at the same time when it really didn't you kind of have to go back in time and do it but uh, that's kind of what you have to do for KSB you kind of have to work the system but uh, let's go ahead and get ready to fly this sucker I'm gonna cut the engines I'm really kind of eyeballing it right now but I have a fair amount of wiggle room but I'm gonna cut the engines when our fuel is right around here so we've used a little bit more than a third I'm gonna cut it when we have just under one third of fuel left give or take you know a little bit more a little bit less once we do that we're gonna stage step then we're gonna fly our second stage into orbit so I'm gonna go ahead and skip a set skip ahead to uh, stage step right now okay so we're getting real close here to stage step probably about 10 eh, 10 more seconds I'll cut the engines Okay, so we've separated our stages. I've uh, re-engaged Ascent Guidance. Our first stage is basically just going to fly away on its own. Um, and you can see here, this is our little button right here our mod has created for us. We click this and it'll allow us to come back to this point in time and control the first stage, flip her around, and we'll talk about that later. Right now we're going to 
get our uh, second stage, our primary mission essentially is what this is, into orbit. Um, as you can see, there's no payload. Normally there'd be a payload attached to this coupler, but I have chosen to not use a payload for this mission, so I have some wiggle room with uh, fuel use and all that stuff because it really, if I have a heavy payload on here, I have to be pretty much perfect with when I cut my uh, first engine and stage step, which I have not I have not really reached that level of precision yet. So we're going to go ahead and fly this baby up in the orbit. Which uh, ascent guidance will pretty much take care of that. So I'm going to speed ahead through this part and get to the part where it's time to uh, land the first stage. So here we go. Okay, so uh, Mechjev is completing our little node here to get our orbit finalized, and uh, once that is done, we've essentially completed our uh, primary mission, and looks like it has... I'm actually going to go ahead and disengage autopilot, because that's close enough for my money. It's trying to make things literally perfect. But uh, this is where that mod comes in, and this is where we're, where we, uh, we... This is the point where we try to land our first stage, so... Uh, this mod, I'm going to click right here and you'll see how it brings us back exactly to where we were before. And I'm going to do my best to explain uh, what I do for this as I do it, but uh, I may have to just focus as best I can as we do a landing attempt here. So I'm going to, uh, firstly, I'm going to go ahead and set this as a target, which I forgot to do. That's okay. Uh, I'm going to, Ascent Guidance is completely useless to us right now. Now, kind of by nature, the craft will pretty much flip itself around um, because we're actually still in the atmosphere. Uh, so I'm going to kind of let it do that. Unfortunately, it is a little bit difficult to control. Where's landing guidance? Blah, blah, blah. There we go. Okay. Now, uh, landing guidance can help us, but for the most part, a lot of this I do manually. So here we go. So now we're... This is called boost back burn. Um, we're going to burn basically retrograde. I've got complete manual control right now. Uh, we're going to burn retrograde. Um, and also the other mod I'm using is trajectories. That's the mod that allows us to have this trajectory uh, and predicted landing point because that accounts for atmospheric drag and uh, uh, whatnot. It's not perfectly accurate, but it's good enough to give me a general idea. So we're doing boost back burn using only three engines, you'll notice. I pressed action group. Uh, one which I've set and that deactivates six of the nine engines uh, the Falcon 9 utilizes and uh, That's what basically how SpaceX will do it SpaceX only uses three engines for boost back and this is this uh, Maneuver we're doing right now. It's called boost back burn. Basically. We're pacing our placing our excuse me facing our rocket backwards uh, basically just kicking on those engines uh, killing our velocity and then turning around. We're basically coming to a screeching halt and starting to go the other direction in simplified terms. That's actually how Elon put it one time. I read on SpaceX's website. I'm going to throttle back a little bit here. Uh, my goal pretty much is to get that cross inside the red cross, but I'm going to overshoot it uh, by a fair amount because I find that when I, I may have overshot a little bit too much, but I still will land somewhere in here. Uh, I find that um, in the past, if I get this cross perfectly on target, it will s kind of just be off a little bit and I'll end up landing somewhere out here in the ocean. So if I offshoot it, that might help us out. Now I'm going to go ahead and have landing guidance kick in here. Uh, hang on one sec, abort auto land. Now I'm going to press action group 2. Action group 2 deactivates all but, uh, all but two engines. And a target. Okay, I just want to make sure it has all my drag accounted for. I've now activated the uh, grid fins, the air brakes, um, and I've given auto land control of the craft. Um, it's not really going to do a whole lot though. We're kind of wibbly wobbling here, but that's okay because uh, as soon as we get into this thicker atmosphere, these grid fins will pretty much line us up. And you can see retrograde is pretty darn close to the pink node. The pink node represents the uh, target. So we're actually really, really close to on target here. Um, I still don't think, just based on past experience, that I'm going to be able to land this thing 
uh, on target. It looks like I'm going to overshoot it a little bit, but you know, that's okay. Um, I still have to figure out how to fine tune this. But uh, so auto land is in control, although it isn't really doing much. But what I will let auto land do is actually control the throttle and the, uh, the basically the pitch of the craft as we start to get closer to the ground because um, it will pretty much do that perfect. And I find that I uh, am not obviously not as good as the computer, of course, but the boost back burn. Uh, it's tricky, and I think, in, uh, if I'm not mistaken, in real life, SpaceX will actually essentially burn and then make a trajectory that goes over their target, and then once they get right around here or so, picture a parabola going like this, once they get, if this is their target, once they get to around here, they'll do another correction burn, allowing them to basically fall right on top of their target perfectly and land right on the money. Now, we're actually looking pretty dang close here. The red cross, the smaller red cross right here that you can see I'm tracing with my cursor, that's our predicted landing point uh, from trajectories, this mod, which I'll obviously include in the description. The red large cross is our target. The blue is what uh, Autoland has created for us. Uh, we definitely have, we may, we, you know, we just may land on that pad. I don't think so, though. We still look a little bit off, but we're going to get pretty darn close. Ideally, though, we don't crash in one of these buildings, but... Uh, yeah, so I'm going to let Autoland take over for us here. Um, and I'll control the gears because Autoland doesn't seem to work with these mod gears. The landing legs. But uh, looking so far so good. This is uh, pretty tense. But I'm going to go ahead and trust Autoland. Actually, I'm not going to entirely trust it. I'm going to quick save real quick. But this is pretty sweet because this image right here that we see, the Falcon 9 first stage with this grid fins out, coming towards back where it launched that's really the same image that we saw in late December of course late December it was pretty late at night so our engines have kicked in um, completely not my control killing our velocity here still 2,000 meters up um, there's our landing pad. It doesn't look like we're going to reach it this time, but I'm, I'm okay with that, to be honest. Let's just focus on getting this on the ground for now. Unfortunately, we're landing a little bit close to the shore, which could mean that we tilt and tip over and uh, fail, but uh, I don't know. We'll hope for the best. Once I reach uh, 3,000 meters, or I'm sorry, 300 meters, I'll throw those landing legs out and I'll let auto land do its thing. Uh, looks like we're going to have plenty of fuel. Just for safety, I'm going to go ahead and push them out now. There come our landing legs. Our velocity's a little high, but... A little hard on the landing. Hang on a sec. Okay, I believe I'll go ahead and consider that a landing. So, uh, Falcon 9 first stage has landed. It didn't go quite as smoothly as I as uh, as we wanted, but hey, we're on the ground. We're intact. Um, I'd say that's success. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and demo. I mean, obviously I'm off target, and we hit the ground. Uh, I can't remember. Maybe like. 10 meters per second, 20 meters per second, which is far too fast in real life. We'd be dead. We'd be exploded. Um, and actually, what you'll notice over here is what happened is uh, when I realized that the craft was going too fast uh, towards the ground, I uh, kicked in. I pressed the action group 1 and 2 to let the engines kick back in um, because the 1 wasn't doing it. Basically, I tried to save it last minute. Of course, it still hit kind of hard, but you know, that's okay. We're on the ground. Um, as far as KSB is concerned this, concerned, this is considered a successful first stage landing because if I go back into Space Center, it will allow me to recover this craft. And I'm in sandbox mode right now, but in career mode, I would be able to recover this craft and uh, do any uh, save tons of funds. 
uh, if I'm in career mode where funds are a crucial resource. Now, the final thing you do with this uh, mod is you press jump back to main mission. And what it's doing now is it's just combining, basically, the it's combining what I just did with what I did earlier where I brought stage two into orbit and it kind of comp compresses those into one save and deletes all that other junk and makes it so, basically we just did a SpaceX style mission here, so which is fantastic. So. Uh, I think that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check the description for all our, uh, these mods here. Um, and stay tuned for more Speed because we got more for you. So with that, I think I'm going to sign off. So thanks, guys.